right, let's see. What projects do we work on today? Let's see. What do we have over Wait a minute. What? Oh, I completely forgot about this guy. Oh, I brought it home and forgot all about it. That's my new chair. All right, let's just get this guy opened up and let's start putting it together. All right, guys, so as I build this chair, I figured I'd do a voiceover and explain everything about the chair as I go along. So I've tried a few cheap chairs before, and they just don't last. I know someone is always going to comment that you can get a chair just like this one for about 50 bucks on Amazon. And that may be true, but let me tell you, those chairs are just not durable. I've tried a few already, and they wind up going flat, and I'm sitting on the plywood base, or they just break down altogether. So being that I do all my video editing myself, I tend to spend a lot of time sitting in front of my computer. So this time, I decided to get a more expensive chair and see if this will last longer than the ones I've had before. So since Misery loves company, I decided I'd bring you guys along with me, so let's get started. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, so let me tell you all the specs about this chair. All right, so this is the Iwin Racing Night Series gaming chair and office chair available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this chair retails for $229, and that does come with free shipping. They also have discounts available on their website, which I'm not even going to tell you what the discount is, because it changes all the time. Every time I've looked at the website, they have a different discount going on, so just take advantage of whatever the discount is at that time, and save yourself more money. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the chair, and all the mounting hardware to put it all together. And the warranty on this guy is anywhere from 2 to 10 years. The base warranty on the chair, the material, etc. is 2 years, and the warranty on the frame is 10 years. But you can extend the warranty on the material itself, the chair and everything else, for anywhere up to 3 or 5 years. They have different things that you can do on there. You can check their website, and if you take a picture of your chair and you put it on Twitter, put it on Facebook, things like that, and you let them know about it, they'll extend it up to 3 years, 5 years, etc. Just check it out on their website. You can figure out what works best for you. Anyway, so the dimensions on this chair are, again, like everything, a little bit complicated. I'm going to put up a graphic on the screen so you can see exactly what the specs are on the chair as far as dimensions go. But I'm going to round it off and say that it's about 22 inches wide by 22 inches deep by about 53 inches in height. But you can see the graphic. It narrows it down much, much more for you. And that's on their website as well, so you can see what that's all about. This chair in particular is intended for folks that are about six foot one in height, up to that max, and up to 400 pounds in weight. If you want a chair that'll hold someone a little heavier or a little taller, they do have other models available that are meant for those kind of people. But this one is anyone up to six foot and 400 pounds. It does come in five different colors. It comes in red, which I got, comes in blue, gray, white, and pink. It is covered in a PVC leather, not real leather, so no animals were harmed in the making of this video. It has a high-density cold-cured foam insert, which is supposed to be better than the memory foam. By what I understand, memory foam tends to sag faster if you sit on it for long periods of time, where cold-cured foam is less prone to doing that. Of course, memory foam is softer, so this one will be firmer. You have to decide which one is more comfortable for you. Do you want it to be firm or do you want it to be soft? You decide what works best for you. This chair has height adjustable armrests and back, and the back is adjustable from 85 degrees to 155 degrees, and I'll show you that once it's all put together. If you want armrests that are adjustable back and forth and sideways, you need to get a more expensive model, and they do have other models that will do all this stuff. This chair comes with some quiet glide wheels, which should make it easy to move around and a lot less noisy in your office. So this chair can be used as a gaming chair or as a regular office chair. If you want something that has more adjustability than a plain Jane office chair, you may want to look at this chair. And I should mention that they do have other series which offer more features at a higher price. So if you want more features and are willing to spend the money for it, 
then they're happy to satisfy you with whatever it is that you want. Check out all the other series that they have on their website and you can pick the one that works best for you. I thought this one would be good enough. If in the future I decide it's not, I may check out a more expensive chair. So I'm almost done with the chair. I'll be wrapping it up real soon, but I'm taking my own sweet time putting it together for you. That way you can see on the video what everything is involved in putting this chair together. If you've never assembled one together, you have any doubts, well, you can use this video as a template, I guess, as a walkthrough, uh, as an instructional video showing you how it goes together. I put together dozens of chairs over the years, and they're all pretty much the same. They're not very complicated, really quite easy to do, and this one is no exception, really quite easy to do. I didn't even read the instructions. I just started tearing into it and putting it together from experience. But if you've never done it, like I said, if you have any questions, any problems, just check this out. That's why I'm taking my own sweet time showing everything for the camera to help you guys out if you have a problem and you need assistance in putting the chair together. In a moment, I'll have it done and I'll sit down in it, give you my impressions of it, give you a close-up look of what it all looks like because you're only looking at the assembly process right now. So I'll give you a close-up of the chair so you can see a bit better what it looks like. But it's a very nice chair, simple to assemble, and we're going to go from there in just a moment. So we'll wrap it up and we'll keep on going. All right, guys, there we have it. The chair is fully assembled, fully completed. There you go. That is one handsome looking chair. I really love this chair, really attractive. It has nice red inserts and red stitching in case you didn't notice. It's like a nice bucket seat in your car. You can see the red stitching right there and the red inserts and the leather is very nice and soft, but it is firm. It has good foam to it. It is nice and firm. So think about that if you're looking for a chair, if you want a firm one or a soft one. The pillows, on the other hand, are rather soft and comfy, so that's not a problem. The armrests are padded. They're not hard, they are padded, so that's very nice right there. But it has some nice look to it. And it is a little bit wrinkled. That's not anything to be concerned about. That's just from the packaging. I'm sure in a few days that'll relax and come out. That's not a big deal. You can see right there, that's not any damage. That's just from the packaging itself, which I'm sure that will relax over time. And I'm hoping this chair will last me more than the other ones that I've had up until now. In case you didn't notice, I put this chair together without even reading the instructions because I have put together that many chairs over time. They just keep constantly breaking on me and I constantly have to replace them. The padding wears out, the leather goes bad, different things like that. And I've already gone through several of these different types of chairs. So I'm hoping this one will be better and I will definitely let you know if I have to build another one to replace this one. So there you have it. So I'm gonna sit down on it and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and we'll go from there. All right, guys, there you have it. A very nice, comfortable chair that I got for myself. A nice new gaming chair, office chair from E-Wing Racing. Hope it turns out to be a nice chair. I'll let you know over time if it does or doesn't. But I'd bring you along as I put it together and as I test it out for the first time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.